right welcome back to crypto front this is the front line where we are fighting for financial freedom we are going to be taking a look at the jasmine price that year earlier today on x i was posting that i think that jasmine is going to have some kind of a rally close to something like three cents here so that could be something like 2.8 cents 2.9 cents there about right in the coming days this is really what i expect jasmine to do but obviously if uh, we have a rise like that from the current levels where the price is sitting let's just go ahead and try to measure that uh, that would actually be a significant move to the upside let's go ahead and try to do that so to 2.8 cents here you're looking at something like a 25 percent to three cents you are definitely looking at something like 30 percent so that really excites the market but uh, the question is you know can we now say that uh, the crash was done right there right that was the bottom and we are now looking for our next leg to the upside here for jasmine right i'm going to be answering that question and showing you exactly what i think the jasmine price set is going to be trying to do in the coming few days or weeks right there right the exact trajectory that we have here on jasmine before we do that i want to kindly ask you to help me spread the video just by delicately tapping the like button it really helps the youtube algorithm and people looking for jasmine content will now be able to find this video much more easily if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet i want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel because i do ta on jasmine and a number of different other outcomes on a regular basis i don't want to run more out too much so let's quickly jump right into the daily time frame so here we have been working super closely with the uh, 50 daily moving average here and i've been saying that this is the single most uh, you know important uh, EMA I'm saying EMA moving average actually because we notice that once you are below it you actually experience very you know bearish price action here on Jasmine but the good thing at this time around is that we are in a net uptrend so I think uh, our dumps to the downside are not going to be as um, exaggerated as it was back then in the bear cycle you also have to put into consideration the fact that there was massive dilution back here right we no longer have that here with Jasmine because you know most of the you know supply is already out there for Jasmine but as I've been saying in the last few hours Updates that I expect Jasmine to go into more like sideways action here. So we'll still see the price moving up here, but uh, no clear direction just yet. We could still the, see the price also uh, pulling back here before we have a clear direction on what is happening. So let me quickly show you here by means of fractals. So you see this fractal here, the last one we went into a range with Jasmine here. You, you just go ahead and try to match it like this. I remember I was also telling you here that uh, we could see the price dropping to something like 2.3 cents. Uh, we did exactly that. We even went lower than that right until, you know, 1.9 cents or something like that. So uh, with this fracture, we are still following that really nicely. And uh, as I was also mentioning in the last updates, I was saying that, look, should we try to, you know, map uh, how the 50 daily moving average is going to be moving? It's going to continue like this. I expect it some kind of a back test by it. This is where the three cents is coming from here for Jasmine. But uh, obviously the question is, will that be enough to give us a confirmation that uh, we're going to be reversing? The only thing that can give us confirmation is if the price continues to you know break through above that 50 daily moving average here and then maybe we see a successful back test just as we were seeing in the past year you can look at this level too now the most interesting thing here for me at least is that if we just go ahead and take a look at this fractal too here when you broke below uh, the 50 daily moving average one more time here let's just go ahead and copy that fractal too here uh you see that it's really is pretty much the same thing that we are seeing the jasmine price are doing here let's quickly just you know adjust it nice and easy but look at how it easily fits into that so i expect the market makers to pretty much do the same thing here if jasmine is going to be falling down uh you know i think it has to have that mini rally back to something like three cents here moreover let's see what happens if we get about fibonacci retracement too uh here from you know the top that we have here the lockout top to the bottom uh do we have any sort of uh you know uh, confluence why right there right around uh, three cents we can see that uh, we have got the point three h2 fibonacci retracement level so yeah and we also have got like a, an upper range by right there which is the point five right so really this is shouting to me at least like uh, there is going to be some kind of a back test here like if we are going to be crashing to the downside or if we are going to be you know reversing trend here and, and continue moving up was here for jasmine one way or the other this level really has to be tested for me but maybe somebody is asking if i'm going to be opening a long position here no i'm not going to be doing that the reason is that uh the support level that we have here for jasmine is really really wide and uh, you can only see it on maybe a weekly time from which you can see that uh here take a look at this there, there is a massive order block here so the price can even still fall something like here let's go ahead and measure that from where the price is sitting until like uh, our major support levels here you can even drop 25 percent and you can still be within that support level so 
the waste reward ratio there really doesn't work for me for a long trade for jasmine so i'm just gonna be you know sitting on the sidelines uh if anything maybe you can do a spot trade but still um i think i would rather do it when the price maybe falls down to something like 1.5 cents which is a scenario that is also likely here for jasmine but you know i didn't talk about that so i don't want to come to you the next day and say you know i told you that 1.5 cents was going to happen i really didn't say that i'm thinking that uh jasmine is going to hit something like three cents before it either crashes down or continues refreshing its trend we are also seeing here with um you know the fear and greed index here on jasmine we are in extreme fear right at this point maybe not extreme fear but really fearful territory which you can see by these bars here when it's orange like this it means that there is fear when it's white it's extreme fear but what i've just realized is that if you are on a support level and uh, a fear bar flashes out right here, usually that is a support level now what we are seeing here we have got an order block of support here on the weekly time from right and uh, we are also seeing some candles indicating that uh, there is there is fear in the market right now so I'm pretty much uh, optimistic to see that there's going to be a bounce here. Uh, this is why I'm saying that it's more likely that we're going to see something like three cents before we either crash to the downside or we either pump to the upside. So the confirmation is breaking above the 50 daily moving average. We're monitoring that super closely, but the indications are there. They're looking pretty much uh, very nice right there. I think uh, we, if we also pull things like uh, the, the MACD and stuff like that, we can see some trend reversals. I start to show up right there that's great and uh you know let's see what eventually happens with jasmine right our long-term trajectories are still pretty much intact right there so we're still looking for something like 54 cents 86 cents and for the best case scenario a dollar 20 for jasmine right there right just remember none of what i say is financial advice and you shouldn't be buying or selling anything because of anything i sell right but if you like the content don't forget to delicately tap the like button share the video with your friends and family and then I would have to see you on the very next one. Take really, really good care of yourselves. Bye.